Okay, if we're still making our way in, if we could find our seats, we are ready to start this evening's event, especially if we're down here on the floor. Please find your seats. We're going to start very shortly. Good evening. If you're able, please rise, direct your attention to the entrance to the arena, and welcome the graduates of the Artie Parker class of 2023.
lads. Good job. You guys all made the right turns. If you remember, water bottles are under your chairs. You can all reach awkwardly down now and fish around and try and find it. It is hot in here. Okay, you could probably cook an egg on my forehead right now. Please ignore the glare if you're looking this way. I apologize. And grads, if you need the bathroom or anything like that, remember the game plan. Don't chug your water down uh, all in one go. Try and save it. Okay, good evening, graduates, parents and families, friends. Welcome to the 2023 Artie Parker graduation ceremony. My name is Jeff Parody, and I am honored to be Master of Ceremonies this evening. Once again, please direct your attention to the back of the arena and join me in welcoming this evening's dignitaries onto the stage. In the spirit of truth and reconciliation, we would like to acknowledge that we are signatories of Treaty 5 land and recognize the Nishichiwayasik Cree Nation on whose traditional territory we live, learn, and teach. The school district of Mystery Lake is located in the community of Thompson in the province of Manitoba, which is located on the traditional and ancestral lands of the Nahitho, Inanu, Denisluwana, Métis, Inuit, Anisanu, Anishinaabe, and Dakota Oyate nations. Let this acknowledgement serve as a reminder of our commitment to honor treaties in the spirit of truth and reconciliation. We are all treaty people. People. I'm gonna announce you, but I gotta buy it. I got so just sit tight. All right, I gotta read about you. At this time, we would like to welcome Elder Jack Robinson to do the opening prayer. Elder Jack Robinson was born April 17, 1937, in Norway House, Manitoba, where his family lived in the bush, and Jack gained his vast knowledge of trapping, hunting, fishing, and living off the land. Jack began his healing journey from drugs and alcohol 22 years ago, going back to his Aboriginal cultural roots of living off the land and receiving teachings from elders and traditional healers. He now teaches his knowledge of Aboriginal culture values and traditions to others through smudge, sacred fire, and pipe ceremonies, as well as connecting and teaching the youth of our schools and community, and those with addiction and mental health needs within it. At the age of 86, Jack is still a very active member of our community. He is employed as the cultural advisor and elder of the Mama We Talk Friendship Center, and sits on a number of boards and committees in addition to the TP teachings, sharing circles, and addiction counseling that he organizes. Jack's dream is to teach the Aboriginal culture, values, and traditions to our youth so that they can carry on and share the teachings of the Aboriginal people. His impact on the Aboriginal culture and the lives of those who have crossed paths with him is immeasurable. 
please join me in welcoming Elder Jack Robinson. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I'm very honored to be here. I am honored to, privileged to and me and say congratulations to all your graduates. It is beautiful. I have uh, my daughter, Gina, graduated from here. My son, Landis, graduated from here. Now I have a grandson that's graduating there. Uh, Nolan Spence, I call him the big bear. <laughs> yes, it, um, I'm very happy to see so many, so many of you graduating. It's good to see that because it, when I was young, there was no high school who was born and raised. We just went up as high as we went up was grade seven. But I did graduate the grade 12, I think I was 32 years old. So it's, but I went self-educate myself, and uh, an education is great, and I'm so proud of all of you that are here today. So with that, I'm gonna do a prayer. I always start my prayers in, in my first language, and that's Cree. I guess I'm too. Nimusumananak <laughs> Hugo <laughs> Can a man when it gets kissing and can't get the magazine, Miss Tennyson on the sky gissigak? He got Miss Ed, he got boy magazine, Miss Ed, me no scarcity, once again, a sky gissigak, ah, so when he makes him a turkey, he says, Yipa Cosena, Mark, and Musumanak, no Kuanak, no Akumayak, ha ha. Our creator, grandfather, so sit in our four directions. We give you thanks, we give thanks to our creator for this wonderful event of all these young people that we see gathered here. We are so proud and we give thanks, O Creator. We ask God you bless each and every one of the young people that are here today. We give thanks to see them for this, in this event. But let's also pray and think about the ones they are not so fortunate. So many of our young people are lost. Many have taken their own lives. Many do not know to follow the right path or the teachings of our grandfathers. Oh, good creator, we give thanks for all women that are here today. That we ask, oh, creator, that you bless each and every one. That we ask, creator, grandfathers, grandmothers, and all our relations. Now, in respect for all other people's beliefs, other religions, other denominations, I would like you all to join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Can you stay with me here for a sec? Thank you. Let's hold that one. 
Thank you, Elder Jack Robinson. Please welcome graduating student and recent recipient of the Soaring Eagle Award, Keegan Beardy, to the stage to present this offering of tobacco along with a gift to show our appreciation. Keegan's going to come up right here. Graduates, welcome. Welcome to a celebration of you and all the hard work you have done to get here. The students were led into the arena tonight by class valedictorian Harsh uh, Chavla. There are 131 students graduating tonight from Artie Parker Collegiate. I like that. If you are able, Please rise and join our grad band in the singing of O Canada. will now direct your attention to the side of the arena where the Diné drummers will perform an honor song. Please refrain from clapping following the performance.
Masicho, please be seated. The graduating class would like to acknowledge and pay tribute to those who cannot be here tonight with us. Can we please ask Anea Permanand and Ben Lounsbury to the back of the arena to begin the memorial walk. Graduates, please rise once Anea and Ben begin the walk. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you. Why'd you have to leave so soon, yeah? Why'd you have to go? Why'd you have to leave me when I needed you the most? Cause I don't really know how to tell you without feeling much worse. I know you're in a better place, but it's always gonna hurt. Carry on! It's been a long That's gone. Please be seated. Thank you, Ben and Nea. Welcome to members of Thompson and surrounding communities watching on our live stream, and the teachers and staff of the school district of Mystery Lake watching from home, as well as here with us tonight in section E to our left. Special thanks to the Artie Parker grad band for playing at this evening's event. Thank you to the Diné drummers, Leon Tizazzi, Adam Nalgi, and Quentin Detanikazi, coordinated in partnership with the MKO for the honor song for our grads this evening. Graduates, many people have joined us tonight to honor your successes and hard work. We have a few people who want to wish you well and leave you with a few parting thoughts. First, to offer you her thoughts and congratulations is City Councilor Joyce McIver, to bring a message on behalf of the city of Thompson. Good evening. I'm City Councilor Joyce McIver. I want to congrat say congratulations to all the grads for all the hard work and everything. And I want to thank the families, the teachers, the supports that you had during your whole life of school. So I'm honored to bring greetings on behalf of Mayor Colleen Smook and my fellow councillors, as well as administration and city staff. This evening ends a chapter of your life and you are now moving on to the next one. Whether it be further to your education or to start your career, remember that you're always learning and growing. Always be proud of what you are doing. The opportunity awaits, awaits you. And once again, thanks to the families, especially your parents. They're the ones that pushed you. And congratulations, class of 2023. We are very, very proud of you. And remember, the best is yet to come. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor McIver, for taking the time to celebrate with us this evening. Now, Ms. Bonnie Rempel, Principal of Artie Parker, has a message for the graduates. Please welcome Ms. Rempel. Okay. Good. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the class of 2023's graduation ceremony. I am honored to be part of this beautiful day as we celebrate the accomplishments of this amazing group of graduates. I'm not going to talk about post-secondary education or jobs or making a ton of money or buying expensive cars. 
my message to you is simple and easy to accomplish. When you head out into this big, beautiful world, find something that makes your heart sing. What you decide to do with your life should not be anyone else's dream but yours. Take a moment every day to look up. Whether it's from your phone, your computer, or the television, take a moment to see the beauty that's right in front of you. The most valuable thing that you have is time, so be selective with your time and don't waste it on things that bring you down. When you are selective about who deserves your time, it's called self-care. And always remember, you become like the people you spend the most time with, so choose wisely. Life is about being real. It's about being humble, and it's about being kind. So go out there and be the reason that someone believes in good people. If you do good things with a good heart and pure intentions, you will never, ever be disappointed in this life. If something makes you happy, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else but you. Remember how you got to this moment, guys. So many people can't wait to get out of Thompson and move to a bigger, faster place with more stores, more restaurants, and more people. Thompson is a part of who you are. The lifelong friendships that you've created happened right here. It might be where you had your first job, where you dated for the first time, or you learned how to drive. If you leave the North, you will miss it, and I hope that you remember all of the good things that it's given to you over the years. I personally had such an amazing year with you all. You invited me to play against both volleyball and basketball teams. I joined you for workouts in the weight room. I played Pong against the valedictorian Harsh in the grade 12 hallway. And yes, you won, yeah. I was attacked by a group of you as I was blasted in the face with Nerf bullets in my office. Another group visited my home at 10.30 at night and set up an intense game of flip cup on my front lawn. I had the pleasure of leading you during your grad parade, joined you for breakfast during our first ever last grad standing, encouraged you when you thought graduation was not in the cards, and cried with you when times were tough. You are an amazing group of people, and I have truly enjoyed watching you grow and learn. As you head out into this world of opportunity, remember to be brave, to be strong, to be kind, Stay true to who you are, and remember that waking up each day is the first thing that you should be grateful for. Congratulations, and all the best to you all. Thank you, Ms. Rempel, for your words of wisdom, and Thank you for joining us on your 29th birthday. Let's hear it for the birthday girl. We would now like to welcome Miss Amy Porty to say a few words on behalf of the parents. Miss Porty is the mother of Ethan Porty, one of our graduates here this evening. Please welcome Miss Porty. Good evening, graduates, parents, guardians, families, and friends, those joining us virtually, and special guests who have traveled from near and far to be with us this evening. My name is Amy Porty, and I'm honored to be here tonight to speak on behalf of parents. Graduates, we hope you know that as parents, we are so very proud of all the hard work that you've done so that you could be sitting where you are wearing that cap and gown. We are a very diverse group here tonight, both as students and parents. But I believe as parents, we can all agree upon the following seven teachings as hopes that we have for you moving forwards as they are deemed to help create the good life, Mino Pima Tessawin, and Belle V. We hope that you show courage to be who you are, not how others expect you to be, to try new experiences, sit beside new people in class, do the job interview, talk in front of hundreds of people. It may be scary at first, but you grow when you're brave enough to try. We hope that you show love and kindness towards others and yourself with both actions and words. You talk to yourself all day long. Notice what you're saying and work at switching any negativity into words of self-encouragement. 
We hope you carry yourself with an attitude of respect. Hold the door open, use your manners, take time to listen to people, and perhaps most importantly, surround yourself with people who bring out the best in you. We hope that you show honesty, mean what you say, and be the person that people can trust. We hope that you show wisdom by using the knowledge gained in both your studies and your experiences to guide your actions. We hope that you show humility, that you're grateful for your skills, that you help others develop theirs, and that you know it's okay to ask for help. The last teaching of truth is to show the virtues of courage, love, respect, honesty, wisdom, and humility the best you can every day. Graduates, as your loved ones, we want the very best for you and know that if you are determined, work hard, and display these virtues along the way, you will be unstoppable. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Porty, for your moving speech. We would like to give a special thanks to all of our uh, parent volunteers who helped to make prom a reality for the class of 2023, and all those who will be ensuring to, uh, helping to ensure safe grad is equally as successful. These events would not be possible or successful without their ongoing participation. Thank you. Now, graduates, just in case you guys weren't hot and uncomfortable enough, we are going to have you stand. Please rise. Have a look around the arena. If possible, find your family or look at the camera that Paul will be walking around with and give your family and friends watching on the live stream a big smile and wave. Family and friends in attendance, feel free to help them out. Nothing says love and congratulations like a loud family cheer. Keep going, I see a mom or dad in there waving, like, look over here, look over here. Just like on your first day of school, they are incredibly proud of you tonight as you complete your last. Please be seated. Oh, someone didn't get noticed up there. Hi, family. Now, some important thank yous to recognize. Thank you to the staff of Artie Parker Collegiate. Thank you for all the hours of extra time in tutoring, coaching, mentoring, and supporting students so that they can achieve their goals. Your support of extracurricular activities in our school gives our students a broader perspective of our world. Your work is much appreciated. We would also like to give our appreciation to all occasions for the beautiful decorating that we see, music makers for the sound and lights, the staff of the Recreation Center, the Mayor and City Council for opening the arena for us tonight, Mr. Paul Anderson from, Sh from Rogers, together with Shaw, not quite the same ring, but we appreciate him, for providing the live stream and the School District of Mystery Lake for all their insistence in making this graduation ceremony happen for you this evening. Thank you. Now I'd like to please welcome Ms. Lori Henderson, Superintendent of Educational Services and Programming for the School District of Mystery Lake, who will bring her greetings. Ms. Henderson's grandson, Kaden Nichaporik, is one of our graduating students this evening. Please welcome Ms. Henderson. Just try and stay within about a foot of the mic if you want to adjust it at all. Okay. I'm going to take the camera away from that one. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. okay. So I wasn't going to mention that part, but thank you for doing that for me, Mr. Parody. Um, Tanse Bonju, good evening and greetings to all of our friends, staff, and families that are here today. A special greeting to our elders, and of course to the graduating class of 2023. You are the guest of honor. We are proud of your accomplishments, and today we celebrate you. 
Thank you for the invitation to speak on behalf of the School District of Mystery Lake and Co-Superintendent Angel Bartlett. I am thrilled to be able to bring greetings two years in a row. Um, normally, Co-Superintendent Bartlett would be up here tonight, but um, because I too have a special someone graduating today, um, I was lucky enough to be able to be on stage. Um, we have a third generation graduate from Artie Parker Collegiate, which we're very, very proud of. I promise I will leave the longer speech for him and maybe for some of his friends that I noticed in the crowd that uh, I might need to talk to. So today, we're celebrating the class of 2023. This is a group that I've been able to watch grow up and proudly see some of your significant milestones. Kindergarten graduation, grade eight promotion, first jobs, my favorite barista at Starbucks, the gas attendant at NCN, the mechanics helper, and of course, all the other positions that you students hold in our community. Another milestone has been the driver's license, which has come with a certain amount of stress, loss of a vehicle, but the freedom to send somebody else to get milk. Although that milk gets to be pretty expensive, sometimes it's a $20, $30 quart of milk, so um, that's always really helpful. And today, the milestone is your grade 12 graduation. You have grown up way too fast. Ask your family. It just seems like yesterday that, you know, you were just little, and here you are today, all grown up. You've acquired both the academic and the social skills, and now you're ready to spread your wings and fly. Fly with responsibility and freedom. Make wise choices, have some fun, but to remember to keep balance and focus on your future. Goals may change, and that's okay. We all have roles in our communities, be it Thompson or any other community we choose. Make it better than you found it. Keep moving forward. You will always have the support and help of your family and friends. Make adventures worth your while. You owe it to yourself. At the district, we embrace the, the term Mino Pimitisuan, which means living the good life in a good way. This is what we want for each and every one of our graduates. We look forward to celebrating your continued success. Please remember to be humble, kind, caring, and safe. All the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you, Ms. Henderson, for joining us this evening. We invite School Board Trustee, Mr. Hank Warner-Brown, to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees. Please welcome Mr. Warner-Brown. Uh, just try and keep the mic about a foot away from your face, and you can adjust it okay, down. Okay, okay, I can do that. Okay, super. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> I'm very pleased to be here celebrating with you tonight. And I take this opportunity to bring good wishes and congratulations on behalf of all the member trustees with the School District of Mystery Lake. Completing grade 12 is a significant milestone in a person's life. So take this time tonight to reflect on the accomplishment and know that you have the support of your friends, family, and community as you go forward. To appreciate where you are today, Think back to where you came from. Perhaps kindergarten is where you started. In the years since, you have been protected and mentored through your school years, and now is the first time you will be leaving school. Maybe you leave home in search of becoming an adult. My first five years after leaving high school, a long, long time ago, uh, were some of the best and most difficult years of my life. I left to join college, I joined the army, I moved 1,500 miles from my mother and my father. So now you too may truly become independent from anything you had recognizably been before. You are no longer a child, folks, you are adults. 
but yet you will continue to grow. So be thankful to your mentors, to your teachers and your principals and vice principals, to your parents, but always be prepared to look for new ones, perhaps an elder, perhaps an older sibling, perhaps a neighbor, perhaps a, fu a future colleague. It's never too late to learn from someone. So today should not be the last day of your learning. It should be the first day of the rest of your life's long learning. And now is a good time for you young people to role model for the new young, for the new kindergartens. We are constant shortage of role models in our community. We need people who are young to engage with society, to volunteer, to become leaders in your community. You need to go out there. Don't stop now. Coach sports. Serve soup at the local soup kitchen. Lead a parade through the city of Thompson for something that you believe in. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, one of the greatest men of the 20th century, he wrote, intelligence plus character. That is the goal of true education. So we are thankful for this evening, and now we reap the fruits of your labors, you young ones. We tried to provide you with the environment. We provided you the brick, the mortar. But you provided the intelligence and the strength of character to succeed. So on behalf of the school district of Mystery Lake and my colleagues with the trustees, we wish you every success for your future. Echo Sani. Thank you, Mr. Warner Brown, for your thoughtful words. We now invite special guest, Angela Levasseur. We are honored and welcome her today to bring greetings to the 2023 graduates on behalf of the Indigenous community. Chief Angela Levasseur is a proud Ethanu Isque, former educator, mother of five, and grandmother of the Nishichoyasi Cree Nation. Chief. Chief Levisser worked in the area of Indigenous education for most of her life. In August of 2022, Chief Levisser was elected as the first female chief in the history of Nishichiwiasik Cree Nation. <laughs> chief Levisser was also the first citizen of NCN to obtain a law degree. She was proud to be a graduate of the Mitchell Hamline School of Law in Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, with a certificate from the Native Law and Sovereignty Institute specializing in tribal law. Chief Levisser is committed to working to improve the lives of her citizens and aims to promote self-reliance amongst her people. Please welcome Angela Levisser. Like here? Good evening, Dance. Elders, dignitaries, families of grads, guests, and Artie Parker graduates. On behalf of the leadership and the citizens of the Nisitoasi Cree Nation, I would like to congratulate all of the graduates here tonight on achieving this tremendous milestone. In Canada today, Reconciliation has become a buzzword. It is often used to reference the need to heal relationships between Indigenous peoples and mainstream society. To heal the relationship that exists as a result of various historical harms. In order for all Canadians to heal collectively and to move forward in a good way, Reconciliation cannot merely be words. Reconciliation must take the form of decisive action. It has to be a partnership. It must rectify the harms that have been done to our lands and to our waters. And reconciliation must also be economic reconciliation. But above all, in order to work 
reconciliation must be authentic. We need only look to the streets of Thompson to see our unsheltered relatives who are hurting and suffering day in and day out, to see the great divide that exists between the haves and the have-nots in our region. Artie Parker graduates, I want to challenge you today. Here is my challenge. Take what you have learned from your high school education and everything that you will learn from institutions of higher learning and advance meaningful, authentic reconciliation between First Nations and mainstream society. I believe in you all, and I know that you can do it. I urge you to become teachers, politicians, leaders, doctors, lawyers, nurses, and tradespeople who are culturally proficient and trauma-informed. If we all work together towards meaningful reconciliation, we can truly change the world. Congratulations once again on your outstanding achievement and all the best to you in the future. Thank you, Ms. Levasseur, for your warm words of encouragement. Egosane. Please welcome the following graduates to the stage to make a presentation to the dignitaries who have joined us this evening. Amy Shire, Derasimi Olaboye, Shaden Steves, Dawson Robertson, and Isabel Carter. Come on up, guys. Each dignitary is being presented with an offering of tobacco along with a gift to show our appreciation. It is protocol within the Indigenous community to present tobacco as an offering of thanks. The youth of Artie Parker would like to thank the dignitaries for their words of wisdom, inspiration, and encouragement. Kinanasko mitten nawa. I'll hold on to it. Graduating student Kaylee O'Hanley will now introduce and thank our guest speaker, Ms. Tara Warnon. Please welcome Kaylee O'Hanley. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kaylee O'Hanley, and I'm here to introduce our teacher speaker for tonight. First off, I would like to congratulate all the graduates on this huge accomplishment. We made it. Also, I would like to acknowledge all of our teachers for making this night happen, 
and putting in the time and effort into getting us to this day. When we thought of teachers to nominate to be our teacher speaker, one name immediately jumped into our heads. She's a phys ed teacher here at Artie Parker. She has watched not only my friends and I grow up, but also my family, the O'Hanleys. Especially one of my uncles. If you know, you know. With her outgoing personality, she fit right in with the O'Hanley clan. This is a teacher who everyone can depend on, and she's a great role model for students. She fills the air with so much positive energy, and you never miss out on a laugh when you're around her. You can always count on her to brighten your day by turning any situation into a positive one. And she always encourages staying true to who you are. I'm very honored to be introducing her tonight, as it takes a queen to introduce a queen. So without further ado, the one and only Miss Tara Warren. Wow, look at the class of 2023 sitting here tonight. And you were on time. Great job. Miracles really do happen. I'm sure it's because you all want to get the heck out of here and party, right? I would like to start by thanking all of you for asking me to be your guest speaker. It truly is an honor. I would also like to thank Ms. Thompson for being my campaign manager. She was right. This is all I wanted for my birthday. The posters were epic, and payback will be coming. Preparing for this speech was not easy. I knew I had to get it right or get roasted by you all. This speech is for you, not for your family or anyone else. When asking you what you wanted in a guest speaker's speech, you said, be funny, Miss Warren. Be sassy, Miss Warren. Who, me? Be sarcastic, Miss Warren. Check, I can do that. How do you think I survived being a high school teacher? Can I be in your speech, Miss Warren? No, I don't even know who you are. Don't be sad, Miss Warren. Holy crap, was I writing a speech or an essay for Mrs. Horvath? I asked all of you to send me something funny I could add to my speech. I was optimistic that I'd be rolling around on the floor laughing at all the hilarious comments. Nope. However, to be fair, when I asked why they did not answer the questions, they said they didn't understand the questions. That I get. However, I do want to thank the 14 of you who did respond. Great job. Here is what I got. A few memorable quotes from our esteemed graduates. When you get kicked out of the party, but your bottle's still in there. Some graduate with honors. I'm just honored to be graduating. I like my tea like I like my men. I don't like tea. I want to say thank you to the queen out there for sending me her favorite saying, hey, queen. Well, queen, the Yankees still suck. Moving on, some of you wanted to remember for your badass style. None of you will be missing Gallo's push-up push punishments for swearing. I think he owes a million himself. You should make me your campaign manager. I was born for politics. I have great hair and I love lying. Look, Granny, I did it for you. I'm your favorite now. When I asked the staff what they'd be missing about this graduating class, they said nothing. Glad they're gone. <laughs> Only joking. They were actually very sincere and are gonna miss, and they're going to miss you all, even the annoying ones. I will not say your names, but you know who you are. B L, B H, D R, J P, J V. One of the things, out of all the things that they will miss, here's what they will not miss. Can we use our phones to find the answers? No. Can I take this call? It's my mom. She's calling to see what I want for lunch. No. Can we go early? Yes, but if you get caught, tell them that Mr. Odette's your teacher. 
Can I still hand this in? No, it's a month late. Okay, we'll take it, hand it in. How can I get my mark up? Do the work when it's assigned. Can I go to the bathroom? Same kid every day we say yes because he's also the same kid who annoys us. I'm not gonna lie, I did use social media to find some inspiration for you tonight. It's a good thing I had Harsh Chawla in my class to teach me how to use my phone. In fact, he ran my Google classes for me a couple of times. So thanks, Harsh. You're a good man. The first piece of wisdom that I, the first piece of wisdom is what I would say to myself if I was sitting here tonight as a graduate. The moment when you realize you create your own reality. Last but not least, I want to thank me. I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for never quitting. I want to thank me for always being a giver and trying to give more than I receive. I want to thank me for trying to do more right than wrong. And I want to thank me for just being me. All of this is so very true. Snoop Dogg is right. Believe in yourself and don't be too hard on yourself either. Lastly, I want to leave you with this. Learn to mind your own business. If you have an issue with someone, speak to them face to face. Do not do it on social media. Be humble and always be fair. If, you have, if you're having a hard time understanding someone's life experiences, just ask them, then listen. Be a lifelong learner, do good, and always be good. If you see someone who needs a hand, give it to them. And no matter your life choices, your passions, or future endeavors, the only way this future, the only way there is a future for any of us is if we all turn into better humans. Thank you and congratulations to you all. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Ms. Warren. You guys made a good choice picking her. This is it with Ms. Warren and teachers like her. I hope you guys have appreciated everything that they've done for you over the years. Except for Mr. Gallo. I think he said he's going to try and collect on the outstanding push-ups after the ceremony. We would like to thank all of our staff for their efforts in helping make this graduation special. There are so many teachers, counselors, support staff, principals, and EAs who help our students every day and who also helped make this evening a success. Thank you. <laughs> Graduating student Fumi Soil will now introduce this year's valedictorian Harsh Chavla. Good evening, everyone. I am here to introduce you to our valedictorian, Harsh. Harsh was voted valedictorian last month. I nominated him, and as well as others, I saw him as the best candidate. Throughout his high school years, he always went above and beyond academically. And by above, I mean extremely above. I have a little story of when we were in grade 11 pre-cal. There was a really hard uni unit, and most of us in the class didn't do so great on the test. I got a 76, and everyone was around that range as well. I went up to Harsh and asked how he did on the test and what he got. He said he didn't do so great either, and I told him not a lot of us did too good, including me. But he kept going on and on about how he was going to redo the test and how he made silly little mistakes. After a while, I asked him what he got. He looks up and smiles and said he got a 98. I had no words for him. Aside from being an academic weapon, socially he's very well liked because he's humble, laid back, kind, and generous. He's always there to help, whether it's with an assignment or if you just need a discount from Canadian Tire. After he won valedictorian, he took up the role like no other. He became the leader and voice of our class, doing things that no one else had the courage to do. 
like when he kicked out a grade 11 during skip day and told him to wait for their year. I could go on about what a great person and friend he is and how he's the perfect representation of our grad class, but we'll be here for days. So with that, I would like to introduce to everyone the class of 2023 valedictorian, Harsh Chavla. a lot of you. Good evening, everyone, and thank you, Fumi, for this nomination and your kind words. All right, I'm just going to tell you one thing first. If anyone happens to cry, please save your tears till after the speech, because I'm an ugly crier. I want to start off by thanking the administrators, counselors, teachers, and faculty for making this day come true. Many of us have waited a long day for this to come and now are now afraid that it is here. Many of us now maintain a constant fear about the road ahead. I myself am so afraid about what's upcoming in the life of Harsh, but it doesn't matter. What matters to each and every one of us is this moment. There's a saying by Master Ugwe in Kung Fu Panda, and it goes, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. I mean, that quote describes life perfectly. We get so tied up thinking about the past and the future that we don't appreciate the present and this time that we will never get back, unless one of you can build a time machine. We have long waited for this day to come, and we have, we have all worked incredibly hard and stayed dedicated to cross this stage. I think we can all agree that our class has been through a lot, and we have persevered and adapted to many crazy changes. Remember those stories our parents and grandparents used to tell us about how they got to school? how they used to swim across an ocean and trek across many mountains and many other unbelievable stories. Well, we will also have the opportunity to tell those unbelievable stories, like how during the pandemic, the world ran out of toilet paper. We have endured many crazy changes and adapted, and now it is time for what our parents call the real world. We are only here due to one sole reason, our parents and guardians. They have sacrificed countless times for us and pushed us to be better people. Mama has, my mom has done so much for me and my family. Every single day, she has taken great care of us and given me much more than I could ever ask for. Her love and support are what got me here today. As she guided me through the last 18 years, I don't know if she realized that the person I most wanted to become was her. I love you, Mom. My dad has also sacrificed so much for me and my family. He has always loved me, supported me, and always worked so hard for, to provide for me and my brothers. I love you, Dad. All our parents have motivated us, gave up so much time and energy so that we could obtain nice items and join in on new trends and fads. I hope that we make them proud and continue to do so as our lives go on. When I first entered high school, I had a role model to look up to. My older brother, Hamanchu, guided me around. Having him here while I transitioned from junior high to high school was a blessing. I appreciate him so much. My little brother, sitting somewhere out in the crowd, just graduated from Riverside yesterday, and I see him in my place on the stage representing the class of 2027. Shubham, you better not let me down. I want to... I want to now acknowledge a few teachers. Ms. Jenkins, distracting you in class was the easiest thing ever. All that was needed was one of the boys standing up and you would stop teaching. Mr. Beck, do you know how helpful it would be for the class if marking was done on time and we wouldn't have to wait weeks for a test to be marked? 
Parody, your hairline was already receding the day I entered Parker. <laughs> and now we can play tic-tac-toe on it. I want to now speak to my peers, graduating class of 2023. We did it. We grew up. Through these years, many of us got wiser, stronger, smarter, and many of you taller. Wish I could relate. I could not be more proud and honored to stand up here representing this resilient and remarkable graduating class. We should all be extremely proud for staying dedicated and persevering through tough times. We have been through so much together and have many anecdotes to laugh about once we leave. I will always remember trying to find spots to hide at for last grad standing and how hammered some people were on skip day or how a cop flashed, his, cop flashed his badge at us during the grad parade. The memories we have made during these last few years will forever be with us and help shape our future. I now want to share a poem with all of you that brought me tears as I read it. The final bells have rung, our last school day, a wealth of memories tucked away. On this final day, we stand together, carrying lessons that will stay forever. Together we worked, we stumbled, we grew through, through late night studies and morning reviews. Hard times were faced, we pushed through the strain, and through these struggles, stronger we became. As school ends, we step into what's new. Armed with knowledge, our confidence grew. We part ways now, each to embark separate paths, yet linked at heart. It is now overwhelming and terrifying to think that our high school career is over. Many of us will be moving down south to pursue other paths, while a considerable lot of us will be sticking around. We have said goodbye to our school friends. It is crazy to think that we may never see them again. We won't have the opportunity to go back into classes. We will never be able to use those same lockers again. We have had our last walk of the halls, our last gym class, our last entrance into the school as a class. No more memories can be made at the place we have been for the last four years. I know I'm making this emotional, and it should be, but this is a time to celebrate, a time to move on to new things and live our life. To finish off here, I want to talk about the future and the lessons we have learned. If we must take something away from our time here during the last few years, let it be to live your life the way you want to live it. Live life to its fullest potential. Always work hard and remember where you came from. Don't let anyone ever dim your shining light. Don't succeed for anyone else. Instead, instead, succeed for that little boy or girl who once thought they could take over the world one day. Thank you, everyone, and have a good night. At one point, I uh, thought I was a good teacher, but I'm pretty sure the kids are just staring at my hairline at this point, seeing how far it goes on a class-to-class -class basis, but thanks, Harsh. That was a very good speech, and thank you, and congratulations on being asked to represent your class this evening. Now, our Artie Parker Collegiate Choir, led by Miss McRae, will perform for good. The choir has seven graduating students who will be performing this year. Please welcome graduates Isabel Carter, Robin Denachisi, Emma Denae England, Lena Greaves, Darasini Olaboye, Austin Reed, and Hemavathi Vijaya Kumar.
singing something we must learn and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and they help us in return well i don't know if i believe that's true but i know i'm who i am today because i knew A comet pulled from orbit as it passes a sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? I do believe I have been changed for the better. Attaboy, Smitty. Thank you to our choir for that great performance. Tonight, we not only say goodbye to the class of, it's awkward, I didn't change that to 2023, thought I caught it all, 2023, but also to staff members, some of whom are retiring and others moving on. We wish you all the best for your future. Thank you. Your dedication to our students will be missed. This evening, our school board would like to present two awards for academic excellence. Please welcome again Mr. Hank Warner Brown to present the School District of Mystery Lake Academic Scholarships. You got your speech? Awesome. You want it to get it right there if you want? Well, I could do like this. Yeah, they're going to come. I love giving out awards. Super, thank you. Yeah. 
The first School Trustee Achievement Award is being given to the graduating student with the highest average of grade 12 math, English, and four grade 12 elective courses. The recipient of this award is, da -da -da -da, like the Oscars, Matthew Schultz. Can he come up? Matthew graduates with an average of 97.2%. Excellent. The second school trustee award is given to the graduating student who has completed a senior year's technology education program. So this is vocational. The first one was uh, academic. And this um, ha person has the highest average of grade 12 math, English, and all four grade 12 vocational courses. Okay. The recipient of this award is da -da -da -da, Isabel Carter. Come on up. Isabel graduates with an average of 93.5% in the area of culinary arts. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Do I have any more awards? Any more? That's it. That's it for you. <laughs> you can try and steal yours from Bonnie. <laughs> uh, congratulations to Matt and Isabel on all your hard work and determination. Our principal, Miss, Mrs. Man, I think this is the same. I did Mr. last year too. Mrs. Bonnie Rempel will now announce the winner of the Governor General's Bronze Medal. Mr. Parody forgot my name last year, too. All right, for nearly 150 years, the Governor General's academic medals have recognized the outstanding scholastic achievements of students in Canada. The bronze medal is awarded to the student graduating with the highest average from their grade 11 and grade 12 years. The recipient of the bronze medal for the 22-23 school year here at Artie Parker Collegiate with an academic average, this is grade 11 and 12, of 95.87%. 95.87%, wow. Mr. Matthew Schultz. Congratulations, Matthew, your family, friends, and teachers, and neighbor, well, for a few more days at least, are very proud of you. One more time for Matt Schultz. It is now time for the diploma presentation. As the students are presented with their diploma, we will be announcing scholarship winners. Scholarship recipients should look behind their diploma for details about obtaining their award. Students will also find a thank you card addressed to the organizations responsible for their scholarship. Please take the time in the coming days to fill them out 
and drop them in the mail or deliver them in person. We would like to thank all of the local organizations that sponsor awards, scholarships, and bursaries. Your support of our students is greatly appreciated. On behalf of the students, thank you. Those students who have obtained honors, an average between 80 and 84.9% will be wearing a silver cord, and honors with distinction, an average of over 85% will be wearing a gold cord. Parents and guests in the arena, we would like to uh, ask you to remain in your seats during the diploma presentation. We do have a professional photographer. I'm sure your tablet pictures and zoomed in cell phone pictures will be lovely to post on Facebook in a few minutes, uh, but pictures of the diploma presentation in the arena uh, will be mailed to you uh, as well as a, uh, uh, sorry, and they will receive a copy of the picture of them receiving their diplomas as well. Uh, we're just going to get set up and then we will begin our walk, so bear with us for a minute or two here. Okay, let's get rolling. Okay, kicking things off with our valedictorian. Harsh Chavla, valedictorian, academic, honors with distinction, Glacier MDS Aero Test Scholarship for STEM, Sikh Society of Thompson.
Babafemi Ajayi, Academic Prom Award. Derek Baker, academic. Mackenzie Barron, academic. Honors with distinction. Congratulations. Deegan Beardy, Academic Technology Culinary Arts. Keegan Beardy, academic. Congratulations, Keegan. Good job, buddy. Taylor Beavis, academic, French certificate, honors with distinction, Thompson Kin Club, RDPC Award. Thompson Health Auxiliary, TGC Low Family Memorial Scholarship Fund, Prom Award. Congrats, Taylor. John Bittern, academic. Caden Bull, academic. Good job, Mr. Bull. Brooklyn Burns Clemens, academic. Ganraj Singh, academic. Mason Campbell, academic. Congrats, Mason. Brianna Carrier Constant, academic prom award. Isabel Carter, Academic Technology Culinary Arts, Honors with Distinction, Trustee Vocational Award, Prom Award. Congratulations, Steve. Oh, well, that was 
Niyadi Chanana, Academic Honors with Distinction. I'm just saying, I think I crushed that personally, but good job, bud. Lenore Charchier, Academic. Angela Chartrand, academic. Good job, Angela. Austin Compton, academic, technology, carpentry. Tyson Cook, academic. It's close to mispronouncing. Angel Cooper, academic. Gage Cordell, Academic Technology Carpentry, Honors. Good job, Gage. Vinny Cordell, Academic. Matthew Cormier, Academic Technology Carpentry, Honors. Good job, Matt. Ashlyn Dantuzzi Wienisk, Academic. Luca Di Dominicus, Academic Technology Heavy Duty. Congratulations, neighbor. Robin Denichisi, Academic. Emma Denae England, academic. Gabrielle Desjardins, French immersion. Evan Duarte, French Immersion, Technology, Carpentry. Good job, sir. Ethan Dumas, Academic, Technology, Automotive. Good job, Ethan. 
Amaziah Flett, academic. Congrats, Amaziah. Amber Flett, academic. Frederick Francois, academic. Gorav Guy, academic honors. Sanjana Guy, academic. Nailed it. Thank you. Lucas Graham, academic. Julie Grant, Academic Honors. Congrats, Julie. Sophia Greenhill, Academic Prom Award. Lena Greaves, academic, honors with distinction. Congratulations. Nicholas Gibosh, academic, technology, automotive. Haley Halcrow, academic. Congratulations. Ruben Halkett, academic. Brendan Hall, academic. <laughs> Caitlin Hall, academic. Stanley Hamilton, academic. Congratulations. Brianna Harnum, academic. Donette Hart, academic. Good job, Mr. 
Braden Helgeson, academic. Cassandra Heskey, academic. Congratulations. Kaylee Hillier, academic technology hairstyling. Austin Hunter Linklater, academic, technology, hairstyling. Congratulations. Nicholas Hutchings, academic, technology, carpentry, honors with distinction. Madison Jackson, academic, honors with distinction, prom award. Congratulations. Cole Jacobs, academic. Sahajdeep Jessel, Academic Honors. Felt really good with that one. Perfect name. Ishmanji Kuar, Academic Honors with Distinction. Natalie Kozlowskis, academic. Got it, nailed it, all right. Zachary Kirby McDougall, academic. Jalen Langen, Academic Technology Automotive, Honors Prom Award. Good job, Waterboy. Ainsley Linklater, Academic. Gabriel Linklater, academic. You want a handshake or a hug? Jordan Linklater, academic. Abel Little, academic.
Congratulations. Gus Little, academic, technology, heavy duty. Somebody loves you back there. Congratulations. Thanks. Hannah Locke, academic, honors with distinction. Maddox Long, academic. Friday, you forgetting here, buddy. Friday. Parker Long, academic, technology carpentry, French certificate, honors with distinction. Benjamin Lounsbury, academic. Good job, Benny. I'll shave your hat. Do you want a righty? Or you yeah, a lefty? I'm a lefty. Oh, give me a lefty. We can do both. <laughs> Ashton Morofki. Academic, honors with distinction. Congratulations, Ash. Good work. Tori May, academic, honors with distinction. Craig McKenzie, academic. Kira McLeod Foray, academic. Madison Morasti, academic. Good job putting in the work to get here, eh? Good job. Connor Merrick, academic. Cullen Miles, academic. Good job, Cullen. Jersey Mahika, academic, honors with distinction. Ainsley Monteith, academic, <laughs> honors with distinction, Arthur Sanch Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Danica Moores, academic. Amin Maravti, academic, honors with distinction. Congratulations, Amin. Good job. Kaden Nichaporik, academic, technology, heavy duty. Congratulations. Hugs are allowed. Hugs are allowed. Kaylee O'Hanley. French Immersion, Dylan Cripps Memorial Community Service Scholarship, United Steelworkers Local 6166, Thompson Gaspar Co-op, Nathan Lounsbury Memorial Scholarship, Prom Award. Darasimi Olaboye, Academic, Lions Club Award, Hal Rogers Endowment Fund, Prom Award. Please tell me I crushed the name all three times I said it. Yes, yes, yes. Alexander Paris, Academic. Eva Perobic, academic, <laughs> honors, Ruth Gordon Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, never forget our curling trips. <laughs> Brooklyn Parsons, academic. Brady Penny, academic. This better help you hit a ball further, you know, run fast. Anea Permanand, French immersion. <laughs> Michaeli Plant, Academic Honors. Smile. You just Ashley Poyer, Academic. Ethan Porty, Academic TTA Scholarship.
Michaela Pronto, Academic Honors with Distinction. Destiny Pronto Cook, academic. Congratulations, Destiny. Kishav Piri, academic, Sikh Society of Thompson. Should have put socks and sandals on there too. I mean, you have to do it, you know, you have to do it. <laughs> Sifut Preet Singh Rattan. <laughs> Academic, honors with distinction, Canadian Institute of Mining, Metallurgy and Petroleum Scholarship, Glacier MDS Aerotest Scholarship for STEM, Sikh Society of Thompson, Prom Award. It was a back page, but I figured I'd cut it short and just announce it to you. Good job. Austin Reed, academic, <laughs> honors with distinction, Ethan Robert Graham Music Scholarship, Lions Club Award, United Steelworkers Local 6166, Legion Ladies Auxiliary Bursary, Thompson Regional Airport Nathan Lounsbury Memorial Scholarship, Thompson Music Parents Association Scholarship. Isaac Rempel, Academic, Technology Automotive, Honors with Distinction. Caleb Richkun, Academic, French Certificate. Dawson Robertson, academic. Sydney Robertson, academic, technology carpentry, Legion Ladies Auxiliary Bursary. Dylan Rose, Academic, Technology, Heavy Duty. Darius Saunders, academic. There's an honor, Darius. Congratulations. Good job. Kirandeep Savna, academic, honors with distinction. Matthew Schultz, Academic, Honors with Distinction, TTA Scholarship, Kerry Brown Memorial Scholarship, Trustee Academic Award.
Nikhil Sempla, Academic Honors. Mia Sati, academic. <laughs> Way to go, princess. princess that's my princess. <laughs> Amy Shire, <laughs> academic, honors with distinction. French Certificate, Legion Ladies Auxiliary Bursary, Knights of Columbus, Prom Award. Are you crying again? No, I'm not. I will. Crowdy, bud. Ashley Slaney. Academic Honors, United Steelworkers Local 6166. Legion Ladies Auxiliary Bursary, Justin Bradbury Memorial Bursary, Knights of Columbus Prom Award. Congratulations. Shalissa Sobering, Academic. Fumi Soil, Academic, <laughs> Honors with Distinction, Prom Award. Congratulations, buddy. Good job. Carrie Spence, <laughs> Academic. Prom Award. Jada St. Pierre, academic. Congrats, Jada. Tristan Stanley, academic. Jaden Steves, French Immersion, Honors with Distinction, Dylan Cripps Memorial, French Immersion Scholarship, Legion Ladies Auxiliary Bursary, Thompson Minor Hockey, Prom Award. This goes on and on. Good job. Kevin Tate, Academic. Alyssa Tizazi, academic. Congratulations. 
Hemavathi Vijaya Kumar, Academic Honors with Distinction. Andrea Riar Miranda, Academic, Mystery Lodge number 174, Thompson Masonic Bursary. I did my best. I hope it was okay. Zane Voki, Academic. Dhruv Vyas, Academic, Honors with Distinction, Thompson Gaspar Co-op, Sikh Society of Thompson. Edward Vistrasil, Academic Prom Award. Griffin Wistesakut, academic. Congratulations. Xander Wistesakut, academic. Kenise Williams, academic, honors with distinction. <laughs> Nadia Wilson, academic, honors with distinction, Selfie Queen, Glacier MDS Aerotest Scholarship for STEM, Law North Law Corporation, Prom Award. Congratulations. Joseph Yeboa, Academic. Aaron Yi, academic. And lastly, Drew Zimmerman, academic. Technology Heavy Duty, Honors with Distinction, Mama We Talk Friendship Center, Outstanding Indigenous Student Award. Let's hear it one more time for the class of 2023. The class of 2023 would like to thank you for sharing in the celebration of this very special event. 
we wish the graduates all the best in life and much happiness. Following the ceremony, grads, you will need to return your gowns and stole to the home ec area at Artie Parker, the same place you picked them up. Don't make Miss Scallion come and hunt you down. We hope everyone who is choosing to participate in the SafeGrad event has a fun and safe evening. Thank you again to those volunteering to make it an evening our graduates will never forget. To end the ceremony, here are a few final words from your principal, Miss Bonnie Rempel. All right, short and sweet. Graduates, your tassels currently symbolize your time as a student here at Artie Parker Collegiate. Moving your tassels to the left side of your cap is symbolic of crossing over from high school to another stage in your life. Grads, please move your tassels from the right to the left and allow me to the honor to introduce the Artie Parker Collegiate's graduating class of 2023. Thank you everyone uh, for attending and celebrating with our graduates this evening. To conclude, I would like to invite our valedictorian, Harsh Chavla, to the stage to lead our graduates in the cap toss. Graduates, let's get ready. Mama call, see you on TV, sunset done change Ever since we was on, I dreamed it all Ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing Now they always say congratulations Work so hard for my heart to vacation Now I'm jumping out of Bailey, yeah And I know I sound dramatic, yeah But I know I had to have it, yeah For the money, I'm a savage, yeah I be itching like I had it, yeah I'm surrounded 20 bags, yeah But they didn't know me last year, yeah Everyone wanna act like they important But all that mean nothing when I saw my door, yeah Everyone counting on me, drop the ball, yeah Everything custom like I'm at the bottom, yeah, yeah when it put your lightest to the sky How could I make sense when I got millions on my mind Coming with that boot, I just put it to the side Bought a sense of baby, they can see it in my eye My mama called, see you on TV Sunset done change Ever since we was on, I dreamed it all Ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing Now they always say congratulations